Hello, good day. I am Angelica Marie Di Maano from 1BS Entry, a nursing student from PLMAR. And I'll be doing an assessment of the skin, nails, head, face, and neck. But before that, we'll be going to perform hand hygiene to prevent spread of infection and also provide privacy by closing doors and curtains. Hello, good morning, Ma'am Justine Sandalo. I am Angelica Dimaano, and I will be your student nurse for today. So, Ma'am Jas, for today, we're going to assess your skin, nails, head, face, and neck. First, in checking the skin, expect for the color, redness, color, cyanosis, jaundice, erythema, and vitiligo. So, Ma'am Jess, I need to inspect first your skin. Is it light brown or brown? Does it your normal color? your normal skin color as I have observed there is no redness or irritation of the skin so after assessing the skin and the nail of the client we will now proceed on the head and the face so Inspect, inspect the head for the size, size, shape, symmetry of facial appearance. So I'm looking at your head right now. Looking at the shape of your head, it is round, no signs of any deformities. The head is proportioned to the size of the body. Next, I'm going to look for any asymmetry along the face. There's no any dripping of the eyes, cheek, cheek of the mouth. That could represent of brain lesions stroke or Bell's palsy. Okay. Her nose is in the middle as well as her mouth. Her eyes is in normal shape. Both are in the same size. Her eyebrows is symmetrical in her forehead. I don't see any asymmetry of the face at all. Next is to inspect the hair. So, mom, is it okay to you to touch and inspect your hair? Yes. Okay. So, mom, the hair color is black. No patterns of alopecia or hair loss. Hair is well evenly distributed. The hair is thin and soft. The texture is smooth. The client has a uh, healthy hair. Mm -hmm. No signs of lesions or excessive oiliness. No presence of parasites. And the scalp are not dry. So next ma'am. I'm going to palpate your head to check for any tenderness or masks. So I'm palpating the head with your whole scalp and checking for any bumps, lumps, protrusions, 
lesions or any deformities and masses around it. Alright, well, I don't feel any tender tenderness or masses or any presence of lumps, bumps, so nothing is abnormal. And lastly, would you mind me touching your face, ma'am? I will just inspect your whole face for your um, for any bumps or lumps. And also, I will inspect or check for your facial features, which is your cranial number seven. So, I will ask the patient to... I will ask the patient to smile and show their teeth and close their eyes tightly. And I will try to open the lids to see if the closure strength is normal or equal. I will also ask to wrinkle their forehead to, obs to observe for symmetry or facial movement. Hi mom, can you smile for me? Uh, can you show your teeth? Okay. Can you close your eyes tightly? Okay, good. Um, okay. The closure strength is normal and equal. And okay mom. And I will also ask to wrinkle your forehead. Okay. Okay, great. So, thanks, Ma'am Jas. As far as I observe, there are no problems in her cranial number 7. All is perfectly fine. So, lastly, inspect the neck. Inspect the neck muscles which is the sternomas sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius so to check the sternocleidomastoid ask the patient to turn their head to the left and to the right against resistance so ma'am Jas, I need you to turn your head to the left Okay. And also to the right. Okay. So there are no signs of neck tenderness or any swollen muscles. The sternocleidomastoid is seems to be normal. So next is look and inspect for the trapezius in the neck and shoulder. So, ma'am, can you shrug your shoulders against resistance? Ma'am, can you be able to touch your chest using your chin? Okay. So, the client can able to touch the chest using their chin. Can able to shrug her shoulders and also rotate their shoulder um, no resistance during the range of motion can do the shoulder shrug without any difficulties next is your thyroid gland and your cricoid cartilage to check for smoothness or enlargement or any masses so ma'am can you hyper extend your head and swallow okay mm -hmm. 
there should be no difficulties in swallowing the signs of any masses there are also no signs of hyperthyroidism or enlargement of the thyroid gland okay, so the patient's thyroid gland is perfectly fine next is your cervical vertebrae So, ma'am, can you do um, hyperflex by turning your head down? Okay. Is there any pain or difficulty? No. Mm. Okay, good. Okay, can you turn your head from left and then right? up and down okay good so it's perfectly fine no difficulty in the range motion of the neck next mom jazz i will gonna palpate your trachea so Patient should have no pain when you're perpetrating this. So the trachea, the trachea is in the normal medial position. No presence of bumps or pain in palpating the trachea. No swollen. Okay. And lastly, I'll check the lymph nodes, size, shape, and the lymph tenderness. I will, um, using the fingertips, uh, in a gentle circular motion, fill the lymph nodes and assess the size, shape, the shape is a uh, normal size is P, P size shape. It is the normal size. First, I need to check the preauricular, postauricular, the parotid, the occipital, the submental, submandibular. The, the tonsillar, the superficial cervical, the deep cervical, posterior cervical, and the supraclavicular, which is near in your clavicle. Okay. So, um, the patient should have also no pain when you're palpating the lymph nodes. No swollen lymph nodes and no soft brown bumps. No tenderness and inflammation. So, the lymph nodes are all in normal. Okay, Mom Jazz. So your there are no signs of there are no signs of any problems in your skin and also in your nails. It is all perfectly fine. No signs of any dehydration or dryness, cyanosis. The shape, the color of your nails is brown, clean. Your head and face is also symmetric. The no signs of any lesions, tenderness, or any masses in your head. 
the face is also symmetric. The facial features is normal. The sternocleidomastoid, which is in your neck, is also normal. Your thyroid and tripart cartilage is normal. Your neck and the range of motion is also normal. And your thyroid gland is also normal. Your trachea and all the lymph nodes are also normal. No signs of pain. And that's it, ma'am. So, thank you, ma'am, Jazz. Okay. That's it. So, lastly, um, remove your gloves and perform a hand hygiene.